Hi, my name is Gabriel, SEO manager at Hike SEO. And in this video, we're going to be talking about page header tags, how to structure content effectively for SEO. Let's dive in. What are we going to learn in this video? You'll learn exactly what they are about, uh, the diff six different types of headers, the benefits of using them, how to add them on the site, and some general tips that you will really find useful. So what are header tags? Now you've probably used them. You might already know what they are, but some of you might not know what that terminology is. So let's dive into that. It's basically a set of HTML elements that are used to define the headings and subheadings in a web page. And what does that mean? You'll see them right here. So you got the H1, the highest level of the heading tags, H2s, H3s, H4s, H5s and H6s. So there's six different hierarchies here and you'll use them in that order. What are the benefits of header tags? Well, firstly, it provides structure for the content, either before you write it or after you've already created it. It really helps before you write an article or a page to come up with the main points of what you'll cover there. And it can be hierarchical. It can have the primary points, the sub points within those and so forth. And that's when you can use headings uh, to basically structure that out and then fill in the gaps, fill in uh, the content with under each of those headings and subheadings. And that will eventually create your article or your page content. Or after you create a specific article or page, it breaks things up, it splits it up so it's easier to read. So it improves accessibility, breaks up blocks of text, it makes it easy for people to skim through your content because on the web, that's what most people do. They skim through it with their eyes. They land on the main headings and the subheadings so they can find what's relevant to them really quickly instead of having to read huge blocks of text and get really tired and frustrated and then leave your site. So you want to keep them on your site. You want to engage them with your content and headings really help with that. So how do you add header tags? Chances are you already have a CMS uh, that already has adding headers built in, in a visual format. You might not even have to deal with HTML at all, um, but just realize that heading codes, the H1s, the H2s, 3s, all the way to H6s, um, it will actually give you an option to select either and which, which heading level you want, and then you can go from there. If you're adding via HTML, then use the following code. So it'd be H1, put the text for the header, and H1 with a slash. So replace the number with the heading level. So it could be H2, H3, all the way to H6. And that basically forms the header. Now, here's some really important tips you need to keep in mind when implementing headers in your page content. Firstly, keep headers concise, keep them to the point because what they're doing is they're summarizing the text below them. And it also is really important because people skim headers and they want to understand them really quickly. So keep them very concise, don't make them too long, keep them to the point. So 10 to 70 characters is the rule of thumb. There's no maximum limit, but this is the general heuristic keep it between 10 and 70 characters in length maximum. Sum up the content beneath or what you will write beneath. So what you'll talk about, make it skimmable. So in one second, can you read it? Can you I understand what it's about? Include keywords. So H1, make sure you have the primary keyword. There's only one H1 on every page. So this is basically what your page is about what your article is about, include your main primary keyword there. H2s, you can use variations of the primary keyword. Uh, you can include secondary keywords, uh, LSI keywords, which are latent semantic indexing keywords that relate to that topic, that give it context. Anything that can basically add to it. Um, again, it has to do with the topics of that main keyword that you're talking about. And H3s, you can add more specific keywords relating to the H2 topics, whatever. There's no hard rules here, 
But definitely, if you take anything away from this section, it's use the primary keyword in the H1. Avoid keyword stuffing. That's the, the second thing I want to say that relates to keyword at uh, using keywords. Don't add a keyword there just for the sake of adding keywords. Okay, you want it to be relevant to the main topic. You want it to add value um, and talk about these different points that you'll be making in that article. It needs to read and flow naturally. It can't just sound awkward when you read it. Or one, one, one test is to read it out loud. If it sounds awkward, it is awkward. So don't try to put keywords there if, it, if they don't need to be there. If it naturally is, great. Try to include them if you can, if it makes sense to. But don't do it out of force because that just that just decreases the user experience and search engines will pick up on that and could penalize your site for stuffing keywords. Single H1 usage, like I said, that's really important. No less than one and no more than one per page. There's some CMSs that auto create H1s. Please make sure that you just use one H1 per page. It's almost like a visible page title. This is not to be confused with the HTML page title used for SEO. Uh, the H1 is the visible one, the main heading of that page and is different from the page title. So keep the header tags consistent. I see this a lot with websites is they use different styles, different formats, different lengths. It's really confusing and it it uh, it basically abrupts the flow from your users consuming your content. So you want to choose between, you know, either title case or first letter capitalization. Just choose one and then stick with that style uh, throughout all the headers on your website. Or the length of headers. If you typically have very short headers, very concise short ones, keep that style throughout the pages and the articles all over your site. And this applies to all this, all the headers. Otherwise, then you you have users landing on one site or another page, and they'll just get confused and they'll lose that rhythm of consuming your content. So here's some another one: never skip levels. So always move one level at a time. So there's six different levels. Obviously, H1 is the only one at the top and only one that you have there. And then H2s will always go to H3s. H3s will go to H4s. H4s will always jump to H5s. And H5s will always jump to H6s. One level at a time. So respect the hierarchy. Make headers compelling. So again, a header almost entices the reader to want to read what's below it. It's almost like a newspaper headline, a micro newsletter headline for what's below. It catches your attention, it creates curiosity, it stops you in your tracks, and it begs you to read what's below it. So use action verbs to convey urgency or importance. Uh, you can use numbers, statistics, concrete details for specificity to really bring the attention of that reader right into the present moment, intrigue them. Um, ask questions. You can have headers as questions to make readers curious and engage them uh, with the content below. Highlight the benefits. So it could be benefit focused. And use power words that evoke emotion and interest. Optimize for featured snippets. Now, featured snippets basically are rich snippets or very visual pieces of information that Google um, and other search engines show in the search engines. And this could be for phone numbers, business names, etc., uh, or answer cards, all of these. So how to optimize your content for that? You want to answer the question directly. So you might have headers or subheadings that talk about that have that are a question and answer it right below in a very concise and helpful manner. Use structured data markup like schema.org um, to mark up specific sections, um, specific pieces of information like business name, address, reviews. So that really helps. Use subheadings, focus on clarity, keep your uh, header short and concise. 
and use lists and tables also. So let's say you ask a question uh, and, and then answer it below with a few bullet points or a table. Google, if it's helpful, if it feels helpful, then it's going to grab that and use that as a featured snippet in the search results directly. So that can bring a lot of extra traffic to your website. And keep your content fresh. Like I said before, update it regularly um, with the latest industry trends and latest information um, on that specific topic. So thank you so much for watching this. If you have any questions, do leave your comments below. And also check out Hike SEO, an absolutely incredible platform for beginners, for small business owners who have very little to no technical experience, who don't have much time during the week, who really want to optimize their sites for local and international um, audiences and get more organic traffic to the site. Hike SEO is the answer. It really makes it easier with action steps, with specifics in the time that you have. So please check it out. Click the link below, go to that URL, and I will see you very soon. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.